Hello! Yes, it is I, Miss Kitty. Here, darling, at Cardiff Pride. Oh my God, we've come on so far. Can I just say something? I'm the only drag queen with the tribute act. How marvelous. Now, girls and boys, ladies and gentlemen, how fabulous. My God, I remember the first time, very first Pride I did. And, um, oh my God, there was literally just a tent. Uh, we had the main stage and everyone came down and brought beer and everything onto a field and that was it. And me and Bev, Dr. Bev, were the first people to do it. And um, do you know what? They did want drag queens on stage at the time and they asked us to come up and uh, we did it and we stormed it. And ever since we've been, well, I've been here ever since. I've missed one year and I, I was mortified about the whole thing. But now I'm back and my God, how much we've moved on. We're now here uh, with the big weekend doing everything oh it's amazing and um i just i love cardiff pride it means so much to me coming out as a gay man at 16 um into exit um i went to exit i was a glass collector a barmaid barman at the time and uh, working in minsky show bar wild atlantica king's cross king's cross my life king's cross and um do you know what? I just love Cardiff. I love Cardiff. And Cardiff Gay Pride means so much to me. And it really, really does. And I'm so happy to still be here. I'm really, really happy. And um, all I'll say is, how marvellous. I'm going back to Kitty Cat Manor very, very shortly. Thank you, loves. I love you all. <laughs> Hello, folks. My name's uh, Dr. Bev. And when I don't look as glamorous as this, I'm also known as Rob, with a much better throat. But I've been sucking on a fisherman's friend and my mother told me I shouldn't do that. So I've just been asked what Pride has been like this year. Um, so it's very different. Um, over the last 15 years I've seen this event grow from 2,000 people on the Stone Circle in the Castle Grounds to approximately 25,000 people yesterday here at the Civic Centre. We've got the largest travelling fund fair in Europe. Some amazing names. We've got everybody from Actresses from absolutely fabulous in Holby City hosting for us to legends like Charlotte Church performing on stage. Um, it's overwhelming at times, but the best parts have been the little things for me. Um, standing on stage, seeing literally thousands of people screaming and crying and laughing, all unified by a rainbow. And we were told yesterday by Miss Kitty, yeah. you were one of the originals, the first drag queens. And it wasn't the first choice of entertainment it's on the first quite Pride. quite true, actually. The first Pride, um, Kitty and I were invited to perform only in the backstage area as hosts for our guests. We had, remember so right, it was Kavana and Tina Cousins. They then put on another act, who I won't name, who cleared the field. And they panicked and said, for God's sake, can you two run on and do something? So we ran on and sang It's Raining Men. The crowd went, went mental and they said, right, you've got a 50 minute spot later. So we then um, had to ring up our dancers who didn't know anything. So last night, Kitty, myself, and the dancers we had at the time, Ginger and Kirk, we did Tragedy, which we did 15 years ago at our first Pride event. And that was actually really lovely and uh, quite overwhelming. And yesterday I was asked by Donna Marie um, to describe pride in one word. And I used the word um, distance. Because distance for me is 15 years of travel and how far we've got to go. And we've accomplished so much in 15 years. Who knew we'd have assembly ministers, MPs and the like on, on our parade and on stage singing. It's huge, and I'm incredibly proud of Pride. Years to the next 15 years. Thank you. <laughs>